Good afternoon. We are on Thursday, the 4th of August, 2022. It's now 1.28 p.m. I'm going to be sharing with you healing prayers with every day and a few other prayers included. So I'll begin with one or two prayers and continue. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins because they offend you who are so good and with your help I will not sin again. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The Jesus Prayer the prayer of the heart. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Remember, O most loving Virgin Mary, that it is a thing unheard of, that anyone ever had recourse to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left forsaken. Fill therefore with confidence in your goodness, I fly to you, O Mother, Virgin of Virgins, to come to you, before you I stand, a sorrowful sinner. Despise not my poor words, O Mother of the Word of God but graciously hear and grant my prayer. Amen. For all those people who are sick and ill, I bring them all before you, and all those who are praying for their relatives who are unwell. Amen. I'm just going to share with you the meditation for today, the 4th of August, 2022. The reading is taken from Psalm 119, which is a very long psalm, and the verse is verse 64. The earth overflows with your kindness, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. And the reflection. The beauty of the flowers and forest. The beautiful face of a small child call out to us the creator God who loves us and wants to make sure that we are functioning as he created us. Jesus healed all who came to him and he wants to heal us too. The prayer, touch me Lord with your hand that created so much beauty and goodness. Heal my ears and my eyes today, Lord Jesus, and all the other things that need healing. Amen. I'm going to read the prayer for today <coughs> on Thursdays. My Lord, thou art all powerful, thou art God. Thou art our Father. We beg thee, through the intercession and help of the archangels, Saints Michael, Raphael and Gabriel, for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters who are enslaved by the evil one. All saints of heaven come to our aid. From anxiety, sadness and obsessions, we implore thee, deliver us, O Lord. From hatred, fornication and envy, we implore thee, deliver us, O Lord. From thoughts of jealousy, rage and death, we implore thee, deliver us, O Lord. From every thought of suicide, and abortion, we implore thee, deliver us, O Lord. 
from every form of sinful sexuality. We implore thee, deliver us, O Lord, from every division in our families and every harmful friendships. We implore thee, deliver us, O Lord, from every sort of spell, malfice, witchcraft, and every form of the occult. We implore thee, deliver us, O Lord. Thou who said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Grant that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, we may be liberated from every demonic influence and enjoy thy peace always. In the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing. A prayer for grace to help others. Dear Jesus, help me to spread your sweet joy everywhere. Fill my soul with your spirit and life come into me and make my whole being so completely yours that all my life may shine like yours, shine through me and stay in me in such a way that every soul I meet may feel your presence in my soul. Let them look up and see no longer me, but only Jesus. Stay with me and then I will shine as you shine. I wish to shine so as to be a light to others. The light of Jesus will be all from you. None of it will be mine. It will be you shining on others through me. Thus let me praise you in the way you love best, by shining on those around me. Let me preach without preaching, not by words, but by example, by the loving influence of what I do, by the evident love my heart bears to you. Amen. And prayer for our special friends. O oh, blessed Lord, you have commanded us to love one another. You have freely given us many gifts of body and soul. You and for your sake we may love everyone else in the world. We ask your mercy for all. but especially for the friends whom your love has given us. Love them, O fountain of love, and make them love you with all their hearts, so that they may will and speak and do those things only which are pleasing to you. Amen. Saint Anselm wrote that. And for a friend, and I have many, but particularly today, Rose, Rosie, and Barbara, and Sonia, and my friends from Manchester, and all of the friends that listen to me, may the grace and blessing of the Sacred Heart be with them, May the peace of the Sacred Heart surround them. May the merits of the Sacred Heart plead for them. May the love of the Sacred Heart set their souls on fire. May the sorrows of the Sacred Heart comfort them in their troubles. 
May the zeal of the Sacred Heart give life to their souls. Amen. And finally, for our spiritual children as well as our physical and adopted children, O Heavenly Father, I offer my children to you, those I gave birth to, Sarah, Mariam, and Layla, and James, and my adopted ones, spiritual ones, Deborah, Aragada, a what if, and their children, Abraham, Jad, and Mortaz, Rose, and her grandchildren. Be there, God and Father, mercifully make up for whatever through weakness or neglect is missing in me. Strengthen them to overcome the evil of the world, to resist all temptations to sin, and deliver them from the secret traps of the enemy. Pour your grace into their hearts, strengthen and increase in them the gifts of your Holy Spirit. May they grow daily in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. May they faithfully serve you here on earth and may they come to rejoice in your presence forever in heaven. Amen. And finally, because today is the feast day of St. John of Vianney, who was a wonderful parish priest, and he is the priest for priests. Um, o oh Jesus, priest forever, keep your priest safe in the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep clean from sin their anointed hands, which touch your sacred body each day, and their lips which drink your precious blood, keep pure their hearts, marked with the wonderful marks of the priesthood. Let your holy love protect them from the sinfulness of the world they work in, especially Father Errico and Father Paolo. Bless their work with success. And may the souls they work for be a joy to them here in this life and help them to the reward of everlasting glory in the next life. Mary, Queen of Priests, pray for them and obtain for us many and holy priests. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you and your loved ones. Thank you so much for listening always and commenting and sharing. I do appreciate it. It encourages me to continue despite that the occasion you get a troll who upsets you. But that's power for the cause. So God bless you all. And I will be doing some more. I have started early today, you might have noted. <laughs> Which is... It was strange because I, I don't normally get up and get ready by the time I did today. And there was a crisis, an emergency, which I wasn't expecting. But it was with a neighbour. But God knew, you see, because I'm not normally dressed or anything at that particular time. And I was. I was actually listening to the morning prayers and with Father Paolo and his congregation and ready for Mass. And my mobile phone which is now on silent received an international call which made me panic and it was my neighbour upstairs uh, she wasn't making the call her son was calling me from Australia and he thought he was ringing social services but it was my number she was on the bus after leaving the hospital the Queen Elizabeth and she hadn't quite sat down. She's elderly, older than me. She didn't have her walker with her, I don't think. I can't be sure. She may have had her stick, because the other day when I met her in Lynn, 
she had a stick and I, she really needs to be pushing the water. She's got severe uh, difficulty with a very severe um, arthritic hands. She hadn't sat and the bus moved and she doesn't remember anything after that. She hit the floor and ended up in the hospital. But they brought her home. So obviously her son, he was kind of panicking. Well, not completely, but he's a very gentle and controlled soul like his mum. So I was able to go up with my phone and let her speak to her son on my phone and then have him ring her with her phone so they could speak and, and it was good. That's how God works, it's marvellous because he hadn't planned to ring me. He didn't even know that he'd rung me. He thought he'd rung someone in social services who he knew. <laughs> so that's that, it's, that, it's quite strange how things work out because often I, even by this time, I, I, yeah, I might, I might be getting organised with the recording, but only just. So I'm ahead today, which is good. God bless you.